Hello everybody, this is Robert Cosmar of the Knowing Whispers YouTube channel. Today I am going to do a video entitled Communicating with Higher Realms. It's so much easier than you ever thought. I've been wanting to do this for several days, but it never quite felt right, like the time was right to be able to talk about the things I'm going to be talking about in this video, because they are very important. But this morning here in cool Florida, it feels like a good time to share this information with you and to hopefully bring to you some insight and clarity into uh, this situation of communicating with the universe, communicating with our guides, um, feeling the oneness of, of the universe as it flows into us as the light that we experience. Okay, the very first thing, the biggest problem that people have when it comes to understanding how do you connect with the universe, how do you communicate with your guides, how do you know your personal truth and things of that nature, is that they approach it from a mental process. In other words, they think about the idea and that brings, obviously, some images to mind or the imagination uh, and things of that nature. And for some people, they spend their entire lifetime doing that. You know, they may worship an idol or they may have a favorite, uh, you know, religious object that they um, put a lot of energy into. And unfortunately, that's not the way that the universe works. Okay? So... The very first thing to be said here about this, do not think, feel. The single biggest problem that everyone has is that their minds are overdeveloped and their feeling nature has been suppressed. And because of that, they're unable to get in touch with uh, literally the universe, the life force, uh, the other realms, if you want to call it that. All right? Now, ways in which people can identify with their feelings. All right. For some, music can help break the ice between thought and feeling. It can redirect your energy from the mental part of you to the heart-centered part of you or your feeling nature. Okay? And the reason why this is so important is because when you focus your awareness, your entire life awareness, to ideas and thoughts in the mind. You work outside of the realm of your feelings, okay, of your natural life force energy, which is inside of you, all right? I've said this many times in my videos, that no one is ever disconnected from the energy of the universe. They're just distracted by their mind and their ego. All right. If you look at your entire life, the biggest, hardest lesson that you have had to learn, if you've learned it, is that you can't figure out the problems of life, the situations of life. Okay. Like, what is your true purpose? Okay. And is this person my love, you know, the love of my life? If you're in your mind, there's another part to you that has to become awakened for you to be able to know, okay, in that moment, whether you've chosen the right career or whether you're truly in a love relationship or you're still out there searching and um, running your head into the wall. Okay, if you think too much, you'll miss it. Very simple, very profound, very true. If you think too much... All right, you will miss it because you'll be cutting yourself off from your feelings. All right, set the stage with silence. Okay, setting the stage with silence. Silence is so important because of the fact that it makes us get in touch with our feelings. It makes us direct our attention away from the outer world and our thoughts and our ideas and our emotions and just to contemplate how we feel 
and this can open an entirely different doorway of experience for you as a human being if you allow this to happen. Okay? If not, then the mysteries of the universe pretty much, except for intuition, are closed off to you. Okay? Break the hold of your mind. It does not have to control you. Okay? This is a very challenging thing. It's very unusual uh, in this day and age for anybody to um, shut their mind off and to be able to open their heart and to be able to trust themselves and trust the universe enough to be able to create a path that is uniquely their own, which is the way that it's meant to be. Uh, we're all kind of robotically uh, conditioned from birth, you know, to follow these patterns and rules and things, which uh, have a tendency to dehumanize us over time. Okay. Fear and ego only hinder progress, such as fear of the unknown or ourselves. There is no boogeyman. Okay. If you have a fear of the dark, if you have a fear of what you feel inside of you, you're not abnormal. You're a normal human being. Okay, we all have parts of ourselves that we fear, uh, buried emotions, repressed anger, and things of that nature, rage, so to speak. And when we're cut off from understanding these things, at some point in time, they're going, they're going to explode. They're going to overflow. Okay, so the first thing that I want you to understand in this particular graphical image here is simplicity, simplicity, simplicity. Okay, communicating with the higher realms is very simple if you allow it to happen because you're already connected to these higher realms. You just have your attention placed more outside of you than with inside of you. Okay, let's go to image number two. All right, allowing the flow. Life is already flowing into us. We are alive, and I just got done you know, saying that is that if you're alive and you're listening to this, you know you're alive, okay? Um, you're already connected, you know, to the universe. You might consider this like cable internet where you're on all the time, all right? Um, you may not be aware of it, but that doesn't make any difference. You're still connected to the universe. But because your attention is outward, mostly, all right, and you have block your feelings off, all right, or shut them off, all right, you're not aware of this connection and of what it means and of how it can be uh, tremendously healing and supportive of you as an individual, okay? Mind and ego block the realization by creating an illusion of separation, okay? Um, when you first have an experience on your feeling nature all right you begin to understand the difference between what the ego is what its purpose is how it functions in this particular world that we're living in how it's necessary to live a day-to-day -day life but how it's not necessary for it to control you or to dominate you or to make you feel like it's the only part of you that exists because it is not all right the mind and ego capture our attention and direct it outward. That is the single most uh, important thing to understand about the ego and the mind. All right. Therefore, the world outside of you. All right. The world of your feelings. Okay. Uh, in contrast to that is the energy realization with inside of you or your connectivity to a infinite vast universe consciousness which is what you're a part of okay to look within we must feel then question what we feel and see what we feel we must look within at what and how we feel okay this really is what the purpose of meditation is uh, in whatever form that you may choose to do that or practice that, listening to music, uh, you know, actually doing some kind of a meditation technique, 
It is to get you in touch with the greater part of you and to help you to realize that there is a greater part of you than the life that you have been living day in and day out, you know, through your mind, through your emotions, through your ego. Okay? We must allow what we feel to speak to us without judgment. Okay? If you have been programmed into certain spiritual religious beliefs and things of that nature, um, it takes time to take off those clothes, so to speak, and to just allow yourself to experience the purity and the essence of who you are in the silence, in your feelings, without judgment, without mentally trying to understand or to uh, label, okay? Uh, these things only get in the way. Consciousness and feelings are the essence of the universe. They are what oneness is all about, okay? They cannot be experienced in truthfulness in the mind or even in the emotions, okay? There's something that you realize through awareness, through a allowing of yourself, okay, to feel, to feel more cleanly, clearly uh, than you ever have in your life. Feelings are not divided or separated like thoughts, okay? Words separate, all right? We may say, or we, we may think that they define or they give form to certain things. There is some truth to that, but they also limit things to the level of the mind. And when you're talking about oneness, or you're talking about cosmic consciousness, or you're talking about consciousness, there is no separation, okay? There is only knowing. There is only remembering, if you want to call it that in a way, all right? Thoughts require labels, which only separate us from the essence of what we are thinking. Okay? Feelings are the fabric of existence, and consciousness directs the flow. The more we feel, the deeper our relationship with existence as it reveals its nature and ours. Okay? Lastly, the truth is, we are all conscious and unlimited expressions of life. We are flames of existence, or balls of light consciousness. This is the language of the universe. Okay, And I know that for many this seems so foreign, but if you've had an experience of telepathy or of cosmic consciousness or intuition, um, you, know, you know the feeling of all of a sudden having this instantaneous knowing without thinking. Okay? Um, this is the nature of the universe. It is conscious revelation, conscious awareness, uh, beyond the restrictions of time and space, beyond the restrictions of thoughts and ideas. All right? And this is what the universe is trying to offer to us right now, if we'll allow ourselves to um, make the change, so to speak, from trying to understand life through our minds, our emotions, our ideas only. Okay? All right. Telepathy, intuition, and the inner eye. Okay? As I've said in many of my videos, all right, the way that your guides communicate with you, some call it intuition, okay? I recognize it as both intuition and telepathy, okay? Telepathy is that still small voice, all right. Now, the more that you are in your mind and that you're in the idea element of things, okay, the harder it is going to be to clearly understand telepathic communication because there is a struggle there going on between, did I really hear that? What was that all about? All right. And the mind that tries to step in and evaluate what it is you thought you heard and what you thought happened. All right. With telepathy, you allow yourself in the silence to just allow whatever happens happen. All right. This is really the key and the secret to all inner uh, 
relationship with the universe. It's getting out of the way, uh, taking off all the clothes of expectations and ideas that maybe you have carried with you your entire life, and just allowing all right, this relationship, which is already there, to reveal itself and to unfold. Okay? And as simple as that is, believe it or not, for most people, that's very hard. Because when they think of things like the universe, cosmic consciousness, God, whatever you want to call it, the, the mind tends to want to uh, hold on to the dependency upon words and the imagination. And the simplicity of just allowing yourself to feel and allowing those feelings, okay, to communicate with you and speak to you, for a lot of people is very difficult, you know, and we understand that. The universe guides and inner teachers do not speak in a normal way, we understand. They communicate silently with telepathy. Telepathy is how the universe communicates. We can feel it and not know why. Some call it intuition. In a relationship with the universe, okay, everything is now. There is no past, present, and future. Everything is now. Okay? Knowing is now. All right? Oneness and unity is now. And, of course, if you are dependent mentally and emotionally upon space and time in terms of your understanding of things, that seems very far-fetched and very unreal. But from experience, you know, uh, CJ and I can share with you that in a relationship within yourself to the universe, you understand what nowness means. Okay? The inner universe is not like the physical one. It is devoid of form, restriction, and limitation. It is infinite and it's unbounded. No matter what our belief or religion, we are always connected consciously to the unseen and infinite universe. We are only distracted from it because of an overly focused mind and ego. Many are obsessed with the outer world and forget the inner one. Lastly, we will see the inner universe when we close our eyes and allow it to reveal itself to us. It's effortless, but our imagination and expectations can block its realization or revelation. Okay? And then going here to the next. Go deep. Go deep. The deeper we go within the silence, the clearer and easier our telepathic communications become. Okay. Um, I think that most people assume that if they go into a quiet room and uh, they lock themselves in and they don't hear noises and all they really, um, you know, are aware of is themselves, maybe mentally and emotionally in the beginning, that they think that that's all there is. But the truth of the matter is, is that the more that they go into the silence and they quiet the mind and the emotions then the telepathic abilities <coughs> excuse me, of the person and the universe come into play. And, of course, in the beginning, you know, you might think to yourself that that's a little crazy or that you're a little crazy because you heard a voice and this type of thing, you know, and that. Uh, and that's normal. You know, in the beginning, that's very normal. And the reason that it's normal is because of the fact that this is going to be new. Okay, communicating with the universe on a feeling level, okay, allowing this relationship to reveal itself is new, and it takes time to adjust to this new way of relating, all right? Um, but the rewards of this type of experience cannot be measured in words. And if you're listening to me now, understand this, all right? The thing that you have been looking for your entire life, which is a feeling of oneness and unity with something that is larger and vaster than your conscious knowledge is there and it's waiting and if you're willing to just take the time to focus inwardly okay with your attention you'll discover that for yourself okay 
The deeper we go, we realize we are not confined to only this physical world. And then lastly here, the deeper we go, the more we realize and understand that other worlds are levels of consciousness anxio anxiously await us. Okay? Um, this whole problem that we have in our lives is simply boiled down to the fact that we're divided. We're not whole. Our feeling nature is suppressed. Our conscious uh, abilities and functions are way too developed. Okay, and we've gotten out of touch with our feeling nature. We've gotten out of touch with our ability to know the truth, so to speak. All right, and to be set free as a result of that. Okay, and they got, I think, maybe one or two more here. The keys. Okay, the keys. Silence or meditation. Whatever way works for you. There is no one way. It's whatever way works for you. Music for some can soothe the energy, calm the emotions, create a sense of reverence, okay? Uh, a sense of humility, if you want to call it that. It's necessary to be able to um, allow the universe to assist you, you know. The universe will let us run the show as long as we want to until we become tired of failing. And then at some point, if we're lucky, we have to understand the process of surrender and allowing this relationship. Crystals, which for some can stimulate the chakras and improve inner sight or seeing. For those of you that are drawn to crystals, they're more than just pretty things. They are transmitters and they are amplifiers of energy. That includes the energy that your chakras function at. Okay? Incense can help to arouse our inner senses. Okay? Um, all of these things I'm talking about here are assistance to help you to get into a proper frame of mind. Okay? That desire for a relationship with a higher power that is beyond your beliefs and your ideas. And that can um, show you, so to speak, your purpose, your truth. Okay? Something which nobody else can do for you. Okay? Devotion or inner dedication to the journey. It is a lifelong journey. Okay? There really is no such thing as halfway if you're serious about wanting to have a relationship with your higher self, the universe, whatever you call that. Um, if you just play with it, you'll not get the benefits. All right? It's like a relationship, a friendship, so to speak, that uh, if you really want to, you know, be a friend, you have to be willing to open yourself up, share who you really are, okay, and allow that other person to share who they are, okay? And then lastly here, don't think. Simply allow it to happen. And, of course, I can tell you, personal experience, that that is easier said than done. Because in the beginning... We don't realize how much of a grip our minds and emotions have on who we are. They become our total identity, our mind, our emotions, and our ego. All right, And yet we're aware that there's something more, something greater, something beyond all that. But how do we get to that realm? Okay, well, what I've just showed you in this little, you know, teaching, so to speak, are the keys to help you to be able to access that relationship that you've been looking for and it is extremely important okay we are not alone okay none of us are ever alone but as you can see when we are only focused in our mind emotions and negativity it can and does create great harm because we're essentially working against the natural flow or evolution of our life in a particular lifetime. Okay? Um, and, and as I said, you know, thoughts and beliefs are traps. You know, they're traps. You get caught in them. And um, how many times, you know, if I can ask you this, how many times have you gone through a situation of finding a new belief, you know, hanging your head on a new idea, and um, after maybe years, 
coming to the realization that after all the time and energy that you placed in that particular belief and idea, it turned out to be absolutely nothing. Okay, so again, these are the keys. All right, if you have any questions, you can email me or CJ. We'll be happy to do our best to answer these questions for you and to help you to fine-tune uh, this inner relationship that you're wanting to establish with yourself. And um, it won't be long before you'll begin to realize the benefits of why you want to do this. Okay? Thank you for watching, and please share this on the Internet if you would. Mm.